There are four modes for the silencer error. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the set marks mode. Let's click on set marks and then launch. The first thing we'll do is click on the one icon, our first focus point. The app will prompt you to adjust your focus to the starting point of the shot. Once you adjust it with the trigger, hit done and we'll return to the set marks home screen. Now we'll hit the plus button at the top right to add another mark. It'll come up with a similar prompt so we adjust our focus to the next point and then hit done. We'll do the same thing for one more mark. and then hit done again. You can add up to 20 marks if you want to, but today we'll use three. If you need to edit the focus point to a different position, click on the point you'd like to edit, adjust your focus with the trigger, then click done. Now our three points are in place, let's take a look at the transition editor. The bottom portion of the screen will show you the transition speed curve between the points. You can use this to adjust the time it takes to focus from one mark to the next. All you have to do is press the curve and drag it to change the speed. And as I do that, look at the bottom right and how when I move the curve, it changes the transition time. Now I can test the transition between the two points and see if it looks good by pressing the test transition button at the bottom of the screen. It'll load the two points to the trigger where you can toggle between them by pressing the button to to move to the next point, and button one to move back a point. If you want to go back to the default curve, click the default button next to the test transition and it will reset the curve. There are arrows beside the graph and those are to toggle between the different marks to adjust the speed curve for each. But what happens if the blocking of our scene has changed and we need a focus point between one and two? That's when we would click the insert mark in between below marks. This will add another point in the middle of whichever two points are shown in the transition editor. If we insert a mark between one and two, it will give us a prompt to determine where the new point two will be. And it will automatically push every other point number up by one. Now we have our four points and we'll press play. The app will load the points into the trigger and now you can use button two to move forward through the points or button one to move backwards. Finally, if you'd like to save these marks, you can click the save icon. Name the profile and then click save as. In the set marks mode, you only need to save one time and the app will auto save from here. Thanks for watching and for more information, head over to 24shots.com.